Yeah, I thought it was a heck of a game. It's one of our best games all year from a toughness standpoint, aggressive standpoint. We just kept coming and coming and coming. Uh, TCU is obviously a really good ball club, and uh, they ran some good arms at us tonight. Uh, I thought we did a great job of competing all night on the bump, uh, at the dish, and uh, specifically on the bases and, and uh, just making stuff happen. I thought our speed stressed them quite a few times. And uh, we've got some guys playing banged up, playing hurt, and it just speaks to the brotherhood these kids have. And uh, that's their strength, is their bond. And uh, you saw that play out a little bit tonight. All right, we'll take questions for Coach and our student athletes. Seth Lewis, uh, KTC in Lafayette. Uh, for Coach first, uh, you mentioned the speed, and you mentioned that during the week that speed was going to be at play throughout this entire regional. Um, even when being thrown out maybe a couple times, like how determined were you to still make your uh, have your speed? Uh, make an impact. They didn't phase these kids. They just they kept going, kept running, and uh, it paid off eventually. And forced a couple of mistakes. They were still a couple of big, uh, big bags, and uh, our our speed definitely uh, loosened things up for us. And you know we came up with some big hits tonight too. I thought Vayon's first at bat get us going, and then Trey following that, uh, and then obviously Jew popping the four hole there uh, in a two strike count, and then CJ. Uh, with the triple, we've we've been really good all year with two strikes and with two outs. And uh, you know, looking at it tonight, eight we only had eight strikeouts, six uh, looks like if I'm reading this right, I can't see six six walks. Uh, I, I thought our guys played played pretty hard tonight. Played pretty hard, man. Oh, uh, coach uh, Travis Brown with the Brown College Station Eagle. Uh, uh, Bo doesn't seem like he's a stranger to long relief. Outings, but he was still pumping it at 94, 95. But what, what can you say about what the effort he put there at the end of the game? He, that's been him all year, man. Uh, he's just, he is a warrior on the mound and loves to compete. He's an adrenaline junkie and uh, he lives for that big moment. And, you know, I uh, love to stick with him right there. And, and uh, you know, it's unfortunate that last pitch and felt a little discomfort and I don't want to. I don't want to uh, chance anything with him. And I really thought Toy did a great job of trying to execute pitches against Sacco. And then obviously, this is a gigantic 3 2 breaking ball he's able to land. Kevin Flood, Katie, and Advocate Coach, is Connor relegated to pinch hitting situations? And do we know anything about Max? Yeah, I mean, we're, you know, if I go around the room, they all got something. And uh, it just speaks to how hard they play. Uh, Kemp. It's going to be day to day. Uh, right now, you know, he's got a, a bad back. He's always had one. It's surgically repaired, but it's something that uh, when it goes, it goes. And uh, so it's day to day. We'll see how he feels when he wakes up tomorrow. Uh, Max popped his hamstring. I wouldn't look for him anytime soon. Uh, I've seen on Bo, and and uh, you know, but it's not going to stop these kids. They just keep playing. Julian, can you, you've been about perfect behind the plate defensively this year, and you had one hiccup, and then you came, talk about your at bat in the next inning coming up and getting that two out single to kind of get y'all back on track. You know, coach is very big on respond, responding, and I feel like in that moment I had to do something big. It was, we had two outs, that's typically our bread and butter. And I feel like that was a good opportunity to tackle on that stolen base that Heath had with the runner on second, two dead. Yeah, to, to that point, um, similar to the question, how important was it to stick with the speed because that did get Heath in position uh, for you to drive him in? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of our game. We, we use our legs a lot. Coach preaches that a lot, and and sometimes you have, to, you have to tax it, which in some situations you got to. And to both, and I can well, we can start with Julian, but to CJ as well, um, the bats, obviously those first home runs were big, but just every time – they had a little bit of momentum. It seemed like y'all responded right away. Like, how big was that? That's huge. I mean, it, to be a momentum killer, that's a big trait for a team to have. And, I mean, it's, for, for us to stop that against a, a club like TCU, it's, it's a big deal. CJ? Uh, yeah, it's a big deal um, to come back and respond in those innings. And, um, yeah, sorry. CJ, talk about your triple and just not just that one, but all the great two-out hitting y'all did in this game. 
Um, yeah, that's kind of what we work on a lot is two outs. We, like Julian said, it's kind of our bread and butter. We have two outs. Um, our job is just to get us to the next guy. Um, don't try to do too much. Just put the ball in play and make the defense make a play. And sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But you got to put pressure on the defense. For either the players, I know y'all got to see a little bit of Coach's old stopping grounds in Huntsville. Is it will add an extra fun to maybe pick the win against his, his old program too? Yeah, there's always – it's going to be a lot of competition. I mean, for us to be back where he was at for a long time, it's kind of something special. It's not about me. It's about these kids and brotherhood they have. And I want to see them keep playing. They deserve to get to keep playing, but they're going to have to go earn it. Coach, is Jacob good to pitch tomorrow like he oh, normally yeah. would? Yeah, we'll go with Schultz tomorrow and uh, go from there. It's a short leash right now for me. I think we're going to have to stay outside the box and uh, mix and match. And, and uh, that's why I went to AP so quick off tally. And then to Bonds off him, and then if if the, if they would have looked comfortable off Bo, I'd have gone right to Toy. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say I know you mentioned it, but for CJR for for Julian, and this is something we spoke about during the week, playing well not only for yourselves but for Coach. Like, how big is that being here uh, at at, uh, at Texas A&M and going against the Aggies tomorrow? Um, yeah, it's just uh, they're a good ball club. Uh, we're going to have to play the same way we did today, come out playing hard, fast, and loose. Um, make sure we use our legs on the bases and stay aggressive on the bases. Kind of overwhelm them, something they probably haven't seen much this year. So uh, overwhelm them with our legs, play great defense, and throw strikes.